Hi, I'm Christina McGoldrick with This Week in Santa Clarita. Today we're at the Amgen Tour of California. We've got a lot of events going on for spectators today behind me. You can see a tricycle race, just one of the many events going on. Let's talk to some spectators and find out why they're here today. Well, I'm here because I love uh, the sport of racing, and uh, I want to come here and see some of those uh, racers race tonight or today. And uh, yeah, I'm all the way from uh, Central Valley just to come and watch the tour. So this, this place rocks. You guys, what brought you out to this race? I'll ask you, Mark. All of these people. I mean, Lance Armstrong's brought thousands of people to our community. It's just awesome for Santa Clarita. It's a showcase. And Jim, have you been following the Amgen Tour of California so far? Yeah, I have. I haven't been getting any work done this week. I've been watching it in the afternoons <laughs> and then watching the replays. But you can watch it online at uh, the Tour of California. Now I'm here with Tweety Bird, one of the most animated guests here today at the Amgen Tour of California. Tweety, are you excited to be here today? Why, why is this event so important to you? They do, they cycle a long way. Thank you so much for your time today. I know you got a lot of people to meet. Thank you. Next, we caught up with Jim Burrow with Medalist Sports and the race director for Amgen Tour of California and asked him what kind of work went into planning the tour. It's quite a bit. I mean, we've been working on this program for 14 months now and, uh, you know, been really fortunate to have a strong local organizing committee here in Santa Clarita uh, led by Rick Gold and his team. I mean, you know, we meet with them on a monthly basis and we talk to them on a weekly basis. And, uh, you know, with uh, our third year here, We've got a pretty well-oiled machine, and we're really uh, excited about having Lance and the, and the world-class riders perform here today. This is a seven stage. There's eight total stages. The race is almost done. How would you compare this year's race to the ones in the past? Well, I mean, you, the crowds um, from Sacramento to here and certainly tomorrow down in San Diego County have just been phenomenal. I mean, even persevering through the rains that we had on Sunday and Monday and then, you know, uh, the, the level of competition we have this year has certainly elevated this uh, event statewide. As the cyclists made their way through Autograph Row, we got a chance to talk to Tom Zerbel from Team Bissell and asked him what it was like to race in the Tour. The first three stages were, were brutal. Um, they, they were tough stages to begin with and then to throw that, that cold rain in there. Uh, that, was, that was a rough start to the Tour for sure. Are you looking forward to the last stage of the race that's coming up? Are you ready to, to get this thing done with? I think I can speak for the Peloton when, <laughs> when I say that we're all pretty ready for this tour to be over. It's been a tough tour, and uh, with the weather that we've been battling, we're all pretty tired. I mean, it's February, so. How are you enjoying Santa Clarita and our beautiful weather today? Ah, uh, you can't ask for much better than this. This is this is nice. This is like the perfect temperature. So hopefully uh, the clouds will hold off, and uh, you know we'll we'll be able to get over the climb uh, uninjured. Mayor Frank Ferry was also on hand at the Stage 7 start at the Westville Valencia Town Center and told us why the Amgen Tour of California's arrival is so important to Santa Clarita's local economy. Well, we have such great sponsors. I mean, today we're here at Town Center. Uh, Westfield is so generous, and they have um, their new patios project, which is going to open up. So today when you have these tens of thousands of people lying in the street, they're still going to eat at great places such as Salt Creek. They're still going to go down and see... Um, TGIF. They're going to go into our food courts, they're going to shop in our malls, they're going to go to the movie theaters. I'm sure the Hyatt's full today. So hosting an event like this today brings people from outside the community in and they spend those money uh, here this weekend. So even though the economy's down overall, Santa Creta will definitely get a boost today from all the people here that are out to see Lance Armstrong and everybody else. What are you most looking forward to doing today, seeing today? Well, I'll tell you, I got my son Nick here. I got uh, his friend Jason Ender, Councilman Ender's son. Uh, it's not often that you get to be with your son to see a sports legend such as Lance Armstrong. You got someone that is up there in the same breath as Muhammad Ali, a Michael Jordan, who is just dominant in his sport. So to be able to see him live, up person, rather than the Tour de France, that's spectacular. So I'm sure everyone out here, that's why we're all out to see Lance Armstrong today and the rest of these riders. With autograph sign. Pictures taken and stories told, Santa Clarita residents and racing fans from all over the world were treated to an awesome day of world-class cycling. And February 21st, we remembered fondly as the day Lance Armstrong and the Amgen Tour of California came to Santa Clarita. I, for one, can't wait for them to come back. For This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Christina McGoldrick.